Hey guys, it's um, it's uh, Shalom from Wimpcraft, and I'm going to show you how to take a bucket plugin that uh, of your choice and decompile it. Basically, take the code, put it into Eclipse, change it around to make your own plugin. You'll need just the basics of Java to decompile. You need JDGUI, Eclipse, and a bucket plugin of your choice. The first thing you need to do is create a Java project. So you can name it my plugin or name it your name. The plugin I'm going to be using is um Kit PvP, which is on my desktop. Um if you have JDJ JDGY somewhere on your computer. Okay, here it is. I'm going to drag this to my desktop so once you click this you can basically open any plugin if that you chose so I'm going to go to my desktop and find the plugin kit pvp okay so now I have all of the source code in here in me.compasscraft.kitpvp and it's only made up of one class which holds the code that makes the plugin do what it's supposed to do so you can edit it primarily in here so you but you can like just drag um, your mouse all the way to the bottom um, highlighting the code as you go down once you reach the bottom you can copy it go into Eclipse and make a new package called me dot um, YouTube dot shlom enter you can add a class and call it main just like they did with their plugins and then just control V the code in there you are going to get a lot of errors but um, you just rename this uh, to change package declaration to me dot youtube dot shalom so done that and that fixed like a couple errors so and now you're going to get a bunch of red on these imports um, because you need to you need to get the source code from bucket T for the plugin to work the way it's supposed to because it's a mod for bucket so we just going to right click this and go into properties and go into our java build path libraries add external jars um, and then you go to your bucket server folder and find your craft bucket click it press ok and these should fix themselves there we go and then you're just gonna have errors like this which um, chat, col chat color bold and the white don't seem to mix and I'm too lazy to find out why so just scroll all the way down highlight all the code as you go down press control F um, you are going to want to change plus chat color dot bold and you are going to want to replace it with a space replace all and all the errors are going to go out of the way you're going to have two left and these don't matter they're just potions you get with mage you can add them if you want you can fix it but to me it doesn't really matter because I delete those three classes anyway <laughs> and you probably have a different plugin anyway so now you have all your errors fixed so all you have to do now is edit it the way you want so you can change kit pvp to like whatever your service called pvp and to export it you just file export uh... get your jar file next you want to select my plugin so there's your plugin you want to save it to your desktop or your server you can save it right to your server folder if you want to I'm going to save it to desktop and call it Lotus um, and name add a .jar just it has to end with a .jar so make sure of that and then press finish it's going to export to your desktop and you now have your own plugin that you've edited this is not right to do if you do make your own like if you're using this you should give credit like you really should 
and you know, that's pretty much it. So, have a good one.